chronic disease with a compulsive and uncontrollable urge to use a drug substance when it is not medica medically necessary is known as addiction. addiction. Very good. Which of the following medications will require a med guide? Coumadin or warfarin, that's your A. ADHD medications, C, aspirin products, or D, both A and B. Both A and B. So your blood thinner, Coumadin and warfarin, as well as your ADHD medication. The following are ways that are helping promote safer narcotic fulfillment in pharmacy. E-scripts, using the PDMP, not checking DEA numbers or double counting C2s, both A and B. Remember now we send prescription, the doctors will send the prescription from his laptop, iPad, or software directly to the pharmacy. That's what you call e-scripts. E prescriptions. What is PDMP? Drug monitor program. Every state has a PDMP. This is how we can help control or help with the drug abuse. Why? It tracks the prescriptions and especially the controlled substances. Say, for example, it's been filled in this pharmacy. The other pharmacy knows that. Sometimes state to say state communicate. Like Nevada communicates with a PDMP of California. So we know that it's been filled in one pharmacy and they cannot use the same prescription and fill it in another pharmacy as well. That clear? So PDMP, Prescription Drug Monitoring Program, it's a state-by-state -state program. Health error can occur when corporate executives pressure pharmacy staff to meet imposed time constraints, often with consequences if they are not met. Say, for example, you only have five minutes to talk to the patient or on the phone. Like there's a limit, okay? There's a time constraint. What is that? Crushed error. Which of the following statements is true regarding the cost of medication errors? Do not have an economic impact. False, False right? Because our taxes sometimes are the ones that are being used to pay for healthcare, okay? Medication errors can cause loss of work, increased hospitalization, and potential disabilities or death, okay? Which of the following patient rights are violated if capsules are dispensed instead of tablets? Actually, it's not really wrong. You can replace tablet with capsule and capsule with tablets. Except if you have, the patient has an instruction to cut it in half because you can't cut a tablet. Are you following? Yeah. But if we're going to stick to which right, it's the wrong form, wrong dosage form. 